Hey everybody, you see the Xbox logo, that means we got a brand new game that we're going to be playing. And this is a game that, if it'll pop up at any moment, is presented to us by Argonaut Games. And some interesting information behind Argonaut Games. You know, I, I get to looking into this video game and I'm surprised by some of the things that I found out. Like, for instance, the fact that this is a gaming company, who of course made Malice. Uh, and once we get further into Malice, also Mud Duck Gaming. But uh, as we look at Malice, I got some interesting information I'm going to present to you from this game. As we see the title screen, it all looks like it's done in claymation. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. So uh, I think it's kind of cool, you know, the opening screen to an extent, just the aesthetics that are behind it. And like I said, it kind of looks like something in claymation. And uh, we have a little bit of viewing of the game right here. We get into this, but Argonaut Games. This is the company that, if I remember correctly, they are the ones that designed the Super FX chip for the Super Nintendo. If I have my history correct, and if you're trying to remember the Super FX chip, 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 chip. I'll get the word out in a minute. Chip. Uh, it is the item that brought us Star Fox. And almost brought us Star Fox 2, but that's an episode of Guru Larry that you'll have to check out. Um, after basically being told by Nintendo, um, we're going to steal your stuff, uh, they decided to go to Sony where they created Croc, the Legend of the Gobos. And eventually they ended up making this game that's the word we're going to use for this it's a game it's a game but it's not really a good 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 game you know it's just this um and i promise we're gonna get into the game in just a moment i just want to take a moment to talk about this i've played through this first area and there's so many cutscenes that i want to talk about this stuff all right so that that's the reason why we're going about this the way that we're going about this but um yeah argonaut games and mad duck gaming uh, if I remember correctly, this game, as I'm skipping through this, it seems to be showing nothing else to it. Uh, I've got some more information I want to present to the game, but first let's get into a new game, okay? Any moment now, game. Uh to sort it out time after time after hello oh i'm sorry are you waiting let me just put everything else to one side and devote my entire undivided attention to you name malice i think so that's for me to find out is it well, that's no trouble. Checking the records of an entire planet? What's that going to take? Just one or two millennia? No trouble at all! Head? What? No goddesses. It said on the door, no goddesses. And if we did take goddesses, we wouldn't take the one that caused that. Well, not with me. Get out! Go on! Better still, go back and sort it out. What? Everything. It's low tide, you know. I should be putting my feet up. But you, you! Next. Did you get all that? I, I hope so, because I, I still don't know what's going on right now. And I've played a little bit of this game already. Ooh, we've got um, um, the, the starry constellation -y area, and we've got cutscenes aplenty here at the very start of this game. 
Uh, he's gonna start talking in a second. I know he is. Ah, malice. You are alive once more. You're observant. I like that in a metal dude. This is the orrery, right? Indeed. And I am the metal guardian. Keeper of the universe. Always nice to meet a guy with a good job. How's that working out for you? Not well. These are grim times, Malice. You and your world were destroyed by Dark God. Now, unless he can be found and vanquished, the whole universe will share that fate. Okay, so it's rematch time. Get the phone book, let's look him up. He'll be under D, or maybe G. Finding him will not be so easy. Normally I would track him with my machineries, but Dog God is clever. He has stolen all my logic keys. Malice, you must find these keys. He has given them to his minions. Unless we can get them back, we have no hope of stopping him. Hey, no problem. Minions I can handle. I have managed to locate the first key, which must have slipped from his grasp. It lies deep within the orrery lubrication system. Please, my dear, recover it, and quickly. I will help you as much as I can. Do your stuff, Rusty. I'm pumped. So it wants us to press the black button. Uh, press the black the black button. Press the black button. It tells us what we need to do. So, so thank you, game. I press the black button. Don't really want to. I'm not even gonna like let this guy talk right now. But yeah, uh, this is the same company that brought us like Star Fox and brought us um. Uh, you know, Croc, Legend of the Gobos, and then they brought us Time this. Has come. I will open this portal to send you on each quest. You must jump using the A button onto the pillar and press the Y button to pass through it. Use the portal, my dear. It will take you to the Orrery's oil fountain. Bring me the first logic key. The universe is counting on you. Yeah, so as I was saying, they also brought us this game now here's a neat tidbit about this game you hear malice malice sounds like she's bored the entire process of all this like you know just whenever she talks she sounds extraordinarily bored well i should tell you that the voices in this game i see you have noticed a crystal heart pot there are 100 of these scattered throughout the universe every 10 that you find will increase your maximum hearts by one as i was saying um, collect the crystal heart pot. Yay! We probably won't be doing this a whole lot coming up, pressing the black button. We're probably just gonna just do our thing. But the voices in this game are quite. Mmm! That you want. You'll not be able to go back for any you miss. Perhaps you should lower the central column. You'll need to jump onto each of the four pistons to get it down. The markings on these pistons show which floor switches you should stand or jump on. You, you done? You, you done yet? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, hit that button, four pistons, blah, blah, blah. The voices of this game were supposed to be far different than they originally were in the, um, in the game. In fact, the original voice actors, uh, or the main voice actors, were supposed to be the members of No Doubt. And so Malice was supposed to be played by Gwen Stefani. And that would have been very interesting, considering the fact that the girl who plays Malice sounds like she's bored out of her mind the entire time. And I looked this up on IMDb. She, this, this, I think this is... Ah, success. Well done, my dear. The shield's down, and you can collect our first key. I think this is uh, her first and only time uh, ever doing a video game. Or, no, not a video game. Mm. The only time doing a video game uh, or any anything else, but yeah, this was supposed to be done like by no doubt, and that to me is an interesting little fact, and one that I had not realized. Don't speak. I know just what you're thinking, so please stop explaining. Don't tell me because it hurts. So what's the deal with this key thing anyway? Each key unlocks a section of my machineries. These will allow me to locate each of Dark God's minions. The last key may even lead us to him. Yeah, about that. I've been thinking. Maybe I need some kind of gun. Or a bomb. 
or a really big muzzle. Fun with lubricant. So we get to pick one of these, and I don't have to choose what order I put these in, which is nice. So we're going to go with this one. I'm going to stick it in this one. I am not going by the order that you think I should. Wow. Clanky. Quite. Now, about that weapon you spoke of. Behold the mace of clubs. Bashalicious. Wow, the writing in this game is really bad. Like, really, really, really bad. Bashalicious. Got that Bally Girl voice coming on. Yay, Malif. Yay. Oh, I, I, I don't know what to say half the time when stuff like this comes up. Collect the club from the Ori. Yay. And this is basically what we're going to be stuck doing is the, 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 the stuff like this and just... Let's grab that. Let's grab it. Ooh. Oh, I feel like you should be playing the Zelda theme right now, but I'd probably get called by Nintendo. Let me see. Yes, it seems I was right. The next key is in the clutches of one of Dark God's hideous abominations. Hey, no one said anything about abominations. You said minions had the keys. Minions sound kind of small and cuddly. I could definitely take a minion. An abomination, I'm not so sure. The way to the second key lies through the great siren tree, whose roots bind the world together. The portal is ready if you are, my dear. Good luck. Yay, so now we get to enter into a brand whole new world fighting fungus and flies. So I honestly, I haven't really shown up a lot of the game. I kind of wanted to just keep moving forward from here. So let's keep going, shall we? But I mean, the writing, you know, minions, cute and cuddly. Ah! So let's go ahead and hop to the next area. By the way, there is something that I'm going to mention, and I think it's important that I point this out to you as I play through this. I'm going to try to collect as many heart pots as possible. I may not collect them all, but I'm going to try to collect them. So before we do our task, I'll probably spend time hunting down uh, heart pots if I have to. But we may just kind of skip through the finding process. Watch it, Woody. I'm a goddess. Really? I'm sorry. You fleshy things all look alike to me. Racist. What are you the goddess of, big sneakers? I'm the goddess of kicking monstrous butt is what. You want some tree boy? I'll pass. Thanks. But while you're here, could you do me a huge favor and see off these dreadful mushrooms? They're doing terrible damage to my borders. So that's basically what we're doing. Uh, we're killing uh, the little mushrooms. Yay! And you just swing the swing the mace. I mean, just just flop it around like that, and then take out the little mushroom thingies. I mean, that's really all you're doing. And sometimes they'll get attracted to you, and they're like, "Hey, there's malice," and then you gotta kill them. I mean, like one hit, and these guys are dead. But first, before we go. Tack, uh, chasing down some more. You go over this way, and uh, you have the ability to double jump, which is a nice thing. You kill all the mushrooms, kill all the mushrooms, and we have a heart pot. Most levels have five heart pots to it, if I understand it. I don't know where these things are, but uh, we're, we're going to go looking for them, okay? So we got 16 of these, and we've got four more heart pots, and we're going to want to, you know, try to find the heart pots. Now, again, I, depending on how long it takes, we may just kind of skip ahead, you know? Ah, those things made really, really weird noises. I don't quite know how to just, I don't know how to quite describe that. Just, ah, da, 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 da. It's just this really obnoxious sound, which is kind of everything else to this. But, you know, I was mentioning earlier that the voices were originally supposed to be No Doubt. And Malice was, again, supposed to be played by Gwen Stefani. Can you imagine how different this game would be? I think this came out around the time when No Doubt was, um, not when it was at its, uh, I guess you can say, most Ska-ish. Because, you know, um, No Doubt is a Ska, or, you know, started out as a Ska band. 
and um, uh, was it Tragic Kingdom? I believe it was one of their fa most famous albums uh, that they had. Um, I wonder how the voice acting would have changed from this game. My, my, how efficient. I can see you're a girl who knows her way around a big club. What? Maybe you could find a use for this. What is it? It's glide magic. Makes you kind of floaty. It's nice. That sounded kind of sexist. I'm just saying, collect the reward from the siren tree. Sounds just a little bit sexist. Just saying, guys. How do I, how do I collect this thing? Do, do I hit it? Do I break it? No, jump on it. Why? Oh. Thanks for explaining that to me, game. Oh. Pull and hold the right trigger and press the A button at the same time to float from a height or from a jump. You will need mana to recharge your magic when you run low. Oh look, there's a heart pot. They want us to use the... Th ah, now this is a mana crystal. These chaps recharge your magic once. You'll see the blue magic bar fill up. Oh, uh, What's up, Twiggy? Something awful gliding inside me. It hurts real bad. I think I'm going to be sick. Do something. What about wind? Is it giving you wind? Oh, don't even go there. Blah. I'll grow you a leaf lift. It'll take you up to my mouth. You can slide inside from there. Oh, my poor wooden guts. That's some A1 award-winning writing right there. Hey, fart joke! Ha! Use jump and the glide magic to help collect any heart pots before you use the leaf flip. Yeah, uh, one thing that you do want to keep in mind as we float and completely miss the heart pot there, that's awesome, is that uh, heart pots, like... Once you leave an area, you can't go back for them. So I have to grab the uh, yep, the heart pot. I want to get out of the way of the leaf lift. And we're going to grab the last item. Uh, and I know where it's at because I played through this area as it is. So I'm going to head up that way real quick. It's going to take me just a few moments. But I'll go back to my original thought. How different would this game be if Gwen Stefani had actually played the role of Malice. Wait a minute. Um, I said I know where it's at. And I'm kind of forgetting where it's at at the moment. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, is it? Oh, okay, no, no, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think I, got, I think I remember where it's at now. I was thinking about an area where it was at in um, an earlier playthrough, I think. Um, we'll, we'll be back in just a moment once I find it, and then we'll get to the Gwen Stefani thing, okay? Alright, I'm going to show you guys where it's at now. I, uh, had forgotten its location. So, uh, let, let's, let's make sure we got this and we're doing good with it. So, you're going to want to make your way up the tree, essentially. And so, we're going to start that journey right here. I may forget and have to say this later. But the reason why we're doing this is because of the uh, the heart pots. Uh, the the heart pots. The purpose behind them is that the more and more of those things that you collect, uh, the better off your energy will be in the long run. Uh, because every ten heart pots you collect, you get an extra li uh, not an extra life, but an extra hit point. So right now we've got five. We would go from five to six once we get ten, and then from uh, you know six to seven and so on. So. I think there's like 150 of these things. There it is. I'd forgotten where it was located. But so it's, it's going to be important for me to do this as we progress through the game. Uh, just for completionist sake. But let's hop on this leaf and let's head on and find out what's causing so many problems. Oh, press Y. Moving on up. Let's go see if it's wind. Right, because that's funny, right? Fart jokes. Everyone laughs at fart jokes, right? Dark spirit. Woo. There's something awful in here. Whatever it is, 
It holds the second key. If you go into the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. We've been in the woods, you idiot. The mushroom boss. Well, I'm glad that's what they called the boss. It's just the mushroom boss. So let's see what we got going on here with, with this. Its tail is its weak spot. Use the clock. Alright, I'm gonna be honest right now, the look of that boss, that thing looks just like uh, a boss. That looks like one of the... If you've never seen the movie Dead Alive, um, it's a Peter Jackson film with zombies. There's a scene in the movie where a guy, like a zombie's intestines start attacking a guy and like its stomach and kidneys and all like that, as well as its, you know, sp his sphincter and everything. Ah, we hit him. Um, that's what this looks like, is that, that, that zombie, and it doesn't seem to be all that bad other than, like, I keep bumping into it, but, like, the, the, the little mushrooms it drops looks like little bumpers, you know, in a pinball thing, and I bounce off of them as such. So, I mean, see? So, it doesn't seem that bad as far as a, a boss is concerned. Come on, come, stop hiding, and let me hit you. So, I mean, I, I may be taking a hit here or there from it, but it doesn't seem like it's that bad. Oh, and I, I got a lucky hit on it just then. See if we can get one last lucky hit, but it's just, this is, this is easy. Ah! Say, you really know how to bash a fungus, my dear. That was as hard as a Dark Souls boss. All right, so collect the logic key. Thank you. So we're heading back to the orrery, and I guess we're putting the key up. And I guess we're gonna call this an episode once I, uh, once I get this wrapped up. Uh, and I just realize that Malice looks like the most animated anime character that ever animated. I mean, just her design is like anime. Oh, okay. So I need to drop another logic key. And again, I don't want to do this in any particular order. So I'm just going to, apparently since I don't have to pick and choose where I do it, I want to go to this one. Just do it in whatever order I want to do it in. I like it that way. Well, you seem to be getting the hang of everything. Yeah, did you see me with that fungus guy? I was like, eat my club, dude. And he was like, I'm so gonna kill you with mushrooms. And I was like, whatever. A good point and well put. Now, my dear, I have detected our third key. To find it, you must travel beyond the witch and the glowworm kingdom. Okay, glowworms I can handle. What's this about a witch? She's an old friend of the Siren Trees. She can probably help, but she's a bit of an old windbag. Coming from you, that worries me. Go back to the Siren Tree and find the Witch's Hovel. She'll help you on your next quest. But have a care. Great danger awaits you. And with that, I think we're going to call this an episode we've been recording for far too long. Uh, so this is Andrew the Moo. I'm going to save this game. I'm going to close this out. And guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye now.